Aloha, I'm Derek Carissa with KTA Superstores. I want to welcome everyone to this year's 2020 Made in Hawaii Festival. As you know, my favorite part of the festival is a cooking demonstration where we have Hawaii's talented chefs cook up some unbelievable, tasty, delicious Ono dishes. And it will put some smile on your faces. This year, of course, the Made in Hawaii Festival is an all-virtual event. We are so grateful to have our presenting sponsors, Central Pacific Bank Foundation, a financial institution that gives lots back to the community, supports a lot of local programs, and also helps a lot of local businesses. And of course, Mai Pono, a farming company on Maui that has 150 employees working so hard to help our state's economy and also to keep Hawaii fed. Yes, through these generous organization supports, not only showcasing locally grown or manufactured products, but also helps the dozens of Hawaii makers, artisans, and small businesses sell their products online at our new Made in Hawaii Festival Marketplace. Hey, thank you for tuning in to this cooking demonstration. You know, I really want to be there, but this is going to be an exciting show. But remember, buy local, it matters. Aloha, and let's check it out. Aloha, my name is Andrew Reka at Cocoa Head Cafe. Uh, just want to say thank you for allowing me to be here. Um, today I'll be demonstrating our uh, beef luau skillet, uh, tempera beer battered onions. I got my lomi tomato garnish. Uh, I got some other garnishes here and there. Uh, so let's get started. Um, I'm going to get my uh, skillet going. Uh, so one of our key uh, things to do when we make our garlic rices is we, have a, we get a really hot skillet going. Um, that's what really gives that nice crispy texture. Um, I also have uh, my uh, oil heating up, getting ready for the tempera onions. So while this heats up, uh, I got some small little knife work I need to do. Um, we have our green onions here that I pre-sliced. I got my kula onions that I diced up already. Uh, we got our haula 5x6 uh, tomatoes, sea asparagus, and ogo. I got my small little garnishes here. I got inamona, pickled chilies, pickled red onion, chili flakes, Bubu rai, Hawaiian salt, and sesame seeds. Um, so let me get this started. So I'll be cutting tomatoes right now. Um, we don't need a whole lot of tomatoes, um, but essentially we're kind of going for small diced. Kind of cut them up. Uh, so yeah, my, I got this recipe from Chef and also my family. Um, we are always kind of involved in our Hawaiian culture. Um, like I said, there is, there's a lot of beef luau recipes, but the reason why this one sticks to me the most is because my family, every single time we have family get-togethers, we have, um, like you name it, parties, graduations, you know, I've always been asked to make our uh, beef luau. It's a really easy recipe, um, but one of the key ingredients is uh, local product. I um, want to give a big shout out to Ma uh, Maui Cattle Company uh, to supporting us our local grass-fed beef chuck. Um, I previously already made our luau already. It kind of takes some time, about an hour and a half, to really get our chuck all nice and tender. Should be good. So now I'm going to be slicing, or dicing, our uh, sea asparagus. And also, uh, shout out to Chef Mama Wong um, for trusting me to do this. Um, so, yeah, got our tomatoes, got our skillet going. So this is um, already our kula sweet onions already diced. Let's get a little pat, get that all out there. And then I'm gonna get this going in the bowl. 
So we, obviously you can see the skillet's getting nice and smoky, so I can go ahead and drop the temp a little bit. So lomi tomato is, you know, essentially something I do in a different take. I like to really keep fresh ingredients. I have my inamona, chili flakes, and Hawaiian salt. And don't forget our ogo, which is limu. Let's get this chopped up. Gonna get, go ahead and give this a nice mix. So anytime you make a lomi tomato, uh, if it sits for a while, it gets a little, it will like give a, a lot of liquid. So from here, I got my hot skillet. I got our rice. It's roughly about around a cup of rice. And I also have a little bit of uh, canola oil and garlic that I'm just gonna give it a little bit rice on the top. This here. Then you guys can hear the sound of that. So that's, that's like what you wanna really be hearing is a nice searing sound because you know that the skillet's hot and also you're gonna get really nice crispy rice. Um, don't forget to always season your salt. Little salt, little, Hawaiian, uh, little salt on top. Um, I'm gonna set this to the side, let it rest. Um, for here, got our oil hot. Now I'll be making our beer battered onions. So of course, get this a little white. Get the core out. Cut them biased. Now we just give it nice little julienne cuts. Then from here, I always like to kind of break apart my onions before I beer batter it. It just kind of makes things easier when you pull it out. So I got these going, I got my garlic rice going, got my oil hot. Let's make our beer batter. Uh, where's our beer? So big thanks to Maui Brewing Company. This is also my favorite beer. Uh, I always support you guys every Fridays and Saturdays because it's my day off. So uh, thank you. <laughs> but uh, this is our coconut hebo. Uh, we're going to be using it for our beer batter. So essentially, you know, this is our tempura mix. Uh, it's already pre-mixed already. All you got to just mix, mix the liquid in. Uh, so from here, get a nice whisk on. Got my beer. So everyone's um, texture is a little different for like how they really like it. For me, like a little bit looser. So I don't know if you guys can smell that, but it's, it uh, smells delicious right now. I got that garlic working. I'll give that a nice whisk. Then uh, I'm gonna come over here, get some of my onions. Let that sit. What? Oh, this is uh, what it looks like. Sorry. Um, just uh, gonna let it sit. And then um, from here, I got my garlic rice going. So yeah, and I'm gonna go into a little bit more detail with our beef luau. Uh, previously uh, made it yesterday. Uh, you guys can see the recipe in, uh, in our recipe ingredients list, um, but it has coconut milk, our Maui cattle beef chuck, it has a um, little fish sauce, salt, pepper, garlic, onions, and then from here, I'm going to let this sit, let that rest. I'm going to come over here, get a nice pan, get this hot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get this hot for us. And then um, just make sure that you always have a little squeeze bottle of uh, coconut milk just as you know heating up purposes because it kind of, all the flavoring kind of gets taken out because it's evaporating. Um, so just uh, get this going on high. So yeah, again, um, 
This is uh, my family's recipe. We always um, do things in large batches, so it was very hard for me to kind of get my portion control when I stepped into this restaurant because I'll be making like 22 quarts of, you know, specials and we'll have like things for like three days. So, uh, you know, with, uh, you know, big thanks to my crew to kind of giving me the support that I need on a daily basis. Thank you again, you guys. Uh, get this hot. From here, let's get our onions going. So we always like to make sure we use tweezers. Tweezers is a big thing when we do uh, tempera onions. We can just give it a little test. All you guys hear that, that's the sound that you want to hear. So you don't want your oil to be too hot because then it'll tend to burn. So as you can see, the onion is going to cook pretty fast. Uh, Luau is going. Then uh, one of the first step things I like to do is to have a, where I'm going to put my hot items, especially for hot oil, onions, etc. Um, where you're gonna land, you know, because that's you know that's a key thing. Um, you always want to make sure that it's close to wherever you're cooking at, so that it allows you not to drip oil. You know, make creates a really big mess, and you know, it's not a really good thing in general. Okay. Always season your onions. Everything season, season. Okay. I can turn off my oil now. It's the only thing I need to be fried. Got my luau. So yeah, our uh, beef luau, it takes some time, you know, it's something that you really don't want to rush. To me, it's uh, smelling it, cooking it, making it is, uh, reminds me of being home, you know, it's always take your time. Uh, so when you're making this and you have your Maui cattle company beef chuck, you want to make sure that you cut it into cubes. You want to make sure that you have a hot surface and you're searing it off. Make sure you have all your ingredients ready. Um, so yeah, this looks pretty ready to go. So for here, I got our plate. Yeah, give us a nice little wipe. Got our rice. I'm gonna move this oil a little bit, put it here. Yeah, and our thing is, um, we like to put an egg, you know, like to me, we're a brunch restaurant, it makes sense. And it's just delicious having an egg on pretty much anything. <laughs> so here, you know, when you come to Coke Red Cafe, we recommend sunny up eggs. Um, or it is simply ask chef choice because we'll give you the best, what we feel like for our any dish. Yeah, so when you come in walking in, we are, we have QR codes now that are posted at the table. Uh, if you have any questions, you can uh, go to our website at cocoheadcafe.com. Um, you can also reach me at my email. So we're going to get our pan hot. A little bit of oil. And, uh, you know, we really try to tell the guys when we crack eggs to not really go directly in the pan, just so that we're not really getting eggshells in it. You know, no one really wants eggshells in their, in their eggs, so... Give it a nice little crack. Beautiful. So we're just gonna get it on the side. So once this pan gets hot, we can uh, cook our egg. Um, so big shout out to our, our farmers, keeping it local. Um, I love you guys. Um, my whole culinary you know, experience was, uh, a, it was a nice ride. Uh, coming from you know, town with Chef Ed, Big mahalos to you guys. You guys really shaped me up a little bit, you know, and kind of got my, my gear going. Um, you guys are an inspiration for me that I'll carry for the rest of my life, including Mama Wong. You guys are, you know, a big part of, you know, my success that I've been, uh, been doing so far. So, yeah, so we'll go ahead and uh, get our egg going.
We really want to go low and slow for our sunny up egg. But yeah, you know, um, with this whole COVID thing, um, we are killing it. Um, every single day we come in, we have, a, we have a different schedule than most of you guys in the community uh, know. We're, you know, we get in, we used to come in at five and we end at two. Um, but now, you know, we're trying to monitor our hours, make sure that we have a, you know, a job for our employees always. So we've been monitoring um, our hours. And, you know, thank you, Justin, for keeping our, you know, always keep, communicating with me and making sure that, you know, if we need to change anything, if we got to drop hours or whatnot, um, you're a big help. It's, uh, like I said, this restaurant is based on, uh, you know, communication. And we all been just communicating with each other. Um, I want to, you know, hope and pray that everyone's safe at home, uh, doing their best that we can for our community. Um, we need to all be together to do this, you know, if we all got to do our part. Um, so, yeah, we, our egg is cooked, our luau is hot, rice is ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this right, right on top. Got our egg. Then we're just gonna come over here. We have our lomi tomato. Nice. Then we're gonna come over here. Throw our onions. We have our sliced green onions. We have our pickled chilies. Give me a wipe. We have our pickled red onion. Buburare. and sesame seeds. Let me give this a little wipe. And uh, there you have it, our beef luau. Uh, thank you again for allowing me to be on this show. Mahalo. Uh, thank you for everyone for everything. Aloha and thank you again for watching this. Uh, please stop by at Cocoa Head Cafe. Uh, our, our operations are Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 2. Saturday, Sunday, 7 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Thank you. You see, I told you it was going to be an exciting demonstration. Thanks again for tuning in to this segment of the 2020 Made in Hawaii Virtual Cooking Demonstration. You can find a downloadable booklet of the six chefs by logging on to madeinhawaiifestival.com. Try it and you'll like it. On behalf of the Hawaii Food Industry Association and the Made in Hawaii Festival, we say mahalo again to the presenting sponsors, Sancho Pacific Bank Foundation and Maipono, and to our other sponsors and partners, including By Local Aid Matters, Hawaiian Airlines, Hawaiian Airline Cargo, Innovate Hawaii, and Ulupono Initiative, promoting local agriculture and local products for local communities. With that, I say, support local, buy local, it matters. Aloha.